This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. I uh, wanted to do an update on uh, Humble. Uh, sorry I didn't get uh, this earlier, but uh, it's still some good information. As you follow my channel, I've talked about uh, Humble uh, quite a few times in uh, March. Looks like uh, about five different uh, times I went over some information and been trying to stay on top of this one. Um, and uh, so, again, this is Humble. Ticker now is HMBL and right now it's trading at uh, 365 so you can kind of see what it's done here over the uh, last month uh, came down just been trading kind of flat and then went up and so we'll see what it does here uh, now in the uh, weeks to come humble announces a launch of block exchange traded index etx products in the united states and so another uh, catalyst for this one this is dated on the uh, first uh, San Diego, California, Humble announced today the planned availability of its block exchange traded index ETXs products to the United States customers beginning on April 2, 2021. Humble Financial created its block ETX products to signify digital asset investing for customers and institutions seeking exposure to a new 24-7 digital asset class. Humble Financial has developed proprietary multiple factor blockchain indexes, trading algorithms, and financial services for the new digital asset trading markets. Block ETXs comprise over 20,000 lines of proprietary code and are architected across index, active, and thematic investment strategies. Block ETXs are completely non custodial, algorithmically driven software services that allow customers to purchase and hold digital assets in preset allocations through their own digital asset exchange accounts and the more I uh, follow this company uh, uh, the more uh, research I do on them and uh, their newer released information I'm really intrigued by this company um, a lot of people say it could be as big as PayPal or bigger, and uh, so I'm hoping to uh, get as many shares as I can of this one, and uh, hopefully it'll uh, fatten up my retirement account. So, uh, Block ETXs will be compatible for the United States customers who have accounts with Coinbase Pro, Bittrex, or Binance. Block ETXs are also available to non-U.S. customers who have accounts with Bittrex Global. Block ETXs will be served first on the desktop and web version of Humble Platform with a goal of future applications inside the Humble mobile application. So very good stuff on the uh, in the future for this one and um, uh, we'll just uh, continue to watch this one uh, keep doing its thing and continue to go up and release more technology and more information. Humble Financial is opening to the licensing of the block ETXs to institutions and exchanges. Humble Financial also plans to offer trusted third-party financial services to, in areas such as payments, investments, credit card services, and lending across the Humble platform over time. So as I look at it, each one of those could be a, a catalyst on the third-party financial services. So you have uh, payments. Um, so which could be huge investments which is huge credit card services which are totally huge and lendings across the humble platform over time so kind of covering it all humble financial is led by former CEO of Coinbrook Calvin Wright as well as Jacob Davis jr. VP blockchain and algorithm technologies and is advised by Jane Edmondson CEO of EQM indexes among others more information is available at humble pay and we can go ahead and take a look there and if you're not sure or haven't really heard much about humble is a new web 3 platform that seamlessly connects consumers and merchants with simple tools for the digital economy humble has three core divisions humble mobile humble marketplace and humble financial which will all work together to optimize new technologies like blockchain and digital assets for future consumers.
and so if you don't know much about this one I'll go ahead and link my other videos in the uh, description so you can go ahead and watch those as well uh, but as you can see here they have mobile pay humble studios uh, just waiting for it to change back here and it's not going to of course now that I want it to So here we have a humble pay and as you can see right on a cell phone connecting consumers and merchants in the digital economy and humble marketplace connecting merchants from around the world to online consumers and humble financial connecting consumers and merchants to financial services. So kind of touching everything here and already in a couple different uh, countries and I have uh, went over that on uh, my other videos. And so feel free to go ahead and uh, watch those, and I'll link those in the description, like I said. Uh, how many shares do you have? Out of curiosity, how many shares are you holding? I'm currently at 165 with a goal of 500 by the end of the summer and 1,000 by 2022. I've seen uh, people with 100 some thousand. That was before the split, back when it was 30 or 80 cents, whatever it was. And I think I even had a comment on one of my past videos. Somebody had a. Uh, I'd have to go back and look. 500,000. Maybe I'm thinking of a, a different ticker. But there's some people out there sitting on quite a few shares of this one. So. Again, it's a global payments network, mobile wallet, contactless merchant software platform to reduce the time and cost of sending, receiving, and exchanging money. So as you can see there, carrying a bag of money to a credit card to just uh, having it on your uh, cell phone uh, with uh, Bitcoin. Very good uh, analogy on this picture. Uh, but I would uh, suggest you go into uh, Reddit, um, do your um, homework, go to their website, which is just uh, humblepay.com. Again, it's H-U-M-B-L pay.com. And here is uh, stock twits currently at 365. Tried. Let's see if we can find any other information here. There's a lot of people holding this one. A lot of people are bullish on it. I see a lot of new names. Uh, let's see if. So the group is getting bigger. I think when I was first in here, it was. Uh, 30 or 40,000 and it's grown it's gaining numbers by the day happy with humble happier with green days and we'll be super happy to see green in my portfolio when we see four dollars and eleven hopefully by end of week this kind of goes over a bit trick so not much other in there other than uh, some people's opinion but as you can see it's currently at 365 and again kind of what it's done me last month and this one kind of started taking off here in uh, December and kind of flat and then at the end of January it just really took off so um, but if you have uh, this one like I said go ahead and put it in the comments if you have any other information on it and uh, Anytime I hear information on this, I uh, like to do a video on it, uh, as this one is really interesting to me. And I'll be continuing to uh, make videos on this one. So, And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me, as well as subscribing. That would really help out the channel. And hit that bell so you're notified when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.